Hello everyone, my name is Lots of Latte, and welcome back to Let's Play Okami. Grab yourselves a warm beverage of your choice, or don't, it's up to you. And I hope you guys enjoy this playthrough. We are back at Inner Izofuji with the Ark of Yamato. But uh, now, we're going to be heading back and making our way into Yoshpet. This uh, cursed forest, or whatever they were talking about. We have much to do. The uh, lack of music in Inner Izo Fuji is really, really cool. I like it a lot. Now, I believe I can just head straight down here. How did it go with Kenmu? Did he want to talk to you about something? It was a little more than a leisurely talk. We were asked to go look for Lika and Yoshpet. Yoshpet? You mean the forest in the east? I don't think anyone's been there to look for her yet. Well, that doesn't surprise me. I mean, that forest isn't exactly a prime tourist spot. Isu, are you really going to go back there? Who says I'm going back? I was using the royal we. I was just talking about furball here. Yosh pet is like another world. Get lost and you might never return. But don't you worry. I'm here and we'll find Lika. If that's the case, I'll lead the way. What? I know you must be worried, Isu. But we haven't got much time. What do you mean? The demons are waiting for the day of darkness. It's a solar eclipse that occurs once every 100 years. Kamui will be in total darkness for a whole day. And when it happens, without sunlight and with the demon's blizzard going on, no living thing in Kamui will be able to survive the day. There are only a few days until the day of darkness. If Lika's not here to recite the volcanic incantation by then, Amaterasu, you're no ordinary wolf, are you? Kemu wouldn't have asked you to do this otherwise. Maybe you're the reincarnation of the white wolf Shiranui. You must be very strong if you can cope with Isun. And your point is? Sorry. Anyway, there's no time to lose. I'll lead you to the forest, Amaterasu. Come when you're ready. I'm going ahead to the edge of the forest. Let's go check the shop real quick. It should be open now. Yes, yes. <sighs> it's freezing. Kamui's been a mess ever since those demons went berserk. Villagers have been slaughtered. Poor Lika's been kidnapped. Body and soul alike have been frozen solid. But you, the village other, has welcomed you as a guest. You'll want to use the opportunity to do a bit of shopping, huh? So. How about buying some local products, Wolfie? I think you have a new weapon. Yes, the resurrection beads. And that is it. Okay. Sure. Probably won't use it, but I'm gonna get it anyway. Oh, one little uh, thing I wanted to show off was that there's a little Easter egg you can do with these uh, Oika tribe people, is that if you circle them, they will turn into their dog selves. Yes, everybody. They are all furries here. And you can expose them. As you see fit. Likewise, you can also just turn them back into their human forms. The mysterious forest of Yoshpet. The entrance has been sealed by the Oina Crest. They did that to protect it from the monsters in these parts. That forest originally had its own power that kept them away. But I wonder if Yoshpet has lost its power. After all, no place is safe from evil in this land now. Is this some specialty music or am I crazy? Oh, 
Elias. Thank God for the map feature. And of course, a new enemy rears its head. Or a drum. It actually kind of looks like a walk. Maybe that actually hit me. Stir fry in that dude's head. I love stir fry. I had Asian food the other day. It was delicious at this uh, authentic Japanese place. As you can see, uh, this place is similar to. Uh, I'm actually blanking on the name. The uh, one shrine back in uh, northern Nippon. It's been so long since I've played Okami that I'm actually forgetting the, na <laughs> the names of the places. But, uh, it's invisible on the outside. You have to go through it in order to see the entrance. The Eastern Forest. The ancient people of Kamui dubbed it Yoshpet. It means consuming forest in their ancient language. They say the forest will swallow you up if you lose your way. Kai said she'd be waiting for us here. I wonder where she is. What? Hmm? Hama to us. Bah! Not that half-baked prophet again. What are you looking for now, Mashari? I'm still looking for you know what. But this cold, sir, is making it difficult. Like we really care, pretty boy. If you're gonna be dogging our tracks like this, you'd be better telling us who you really are. Who I really am? That's right! I mean, we already know that you're up to no good. Excuse moi but I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just looking for a certain path. You could say I am a seeker of the eternal heavens. Aha! Now I know why you keep babbling on about a path to the heavens. You're planning a wolf murder, then you'll take Ami's place in heaven. Huh? <laughs> By that look, I take it I've hit the nail on the head. That also explains why you keep turning up wherever we go. A path to the heavens, bah! More like a highway to you know where. You misunderstand me, my little bouncing friend. The path to the heavens I seek is not a vulgar thing such as that. My path to the heavens slumbers here in the land of Kamui. I seek a heavenly ark. Heavenly ark? That's right. In Kamui, there is a ship of iron locked in ice. I can sense it now. It is almost within my grasp. You too know this, do you not, Amaturas? Hey, leave Furball out of this. Well, I must bid you adieu. No need for any prophecies this time. Au revoir! Let's go ahead this. Waka is probably my favorite character, uh, <laughs> character to voice in this Let's Play. I've been waiting for you, Amaterasu. Did you know that Yoshpet means consuming forest? It is said that those who lose their way here can never escape. Even the monsters try to avoid the place as much as they can. Our tribe has long been entrusted with protecting this forest. That's why the entrance is sealed with the Oina Crest. Recently, however, the forest's power has been weakening, so it's hard to know what might be waiting us inside. But if we can make it deep inside the forest, We'll come to a special place. It's a secret place that humans can never reach. I had something of a connection with the place when I was small. That's why I know the way. Right, Isun? 
there's a chance that Lika might be there. We're all depending on you, Amaterasu. Well, it's time to begin our expedition into the forest. Run as fast as you can. Are you ready to go? Let me warn you first. Do not underestimate this forest, okay? The tree pollen here has the power to confuse the beasts. We Oina can't stay in here long, and I doubt you can either. None of us want to get lost in this blizzard and die out here. So make sure you follow me, and don't fall behind. Oh spirits of the air, earth, and sea, protect us with your divine powers. And, uh, this is what we're doing now. Well, this is a timed mission. And uh, all around, you'll see these little balls that uh, give you a little bit of extra time. For the most part, we're going to just ignore them and uh, follow Kai. We, we really shouldn't run out of time. This is pretty simple. Just only grab them when they're necessary. Overall, uh, this this mission's pretty difficult to fail. Maybe in the later stages it gets a little more difficult, but I remember this being pretty simple. Now, even though there was a fork in the road, um, on the other side of the fork, there is actually sometimes uh, some secrets. So if you're looking for beads, that would be the place that you would want to look for them. I think they try to fake you out into believing it's like gonna like end your mission or whatever if you go that way, but it's actually not the case. The only thing that can truly end your mission is when the time runs out. To my knowledge. I may be wrong about that, but you know. Slippery ice. I always thought this place was really cool. I mean, is there a not cool place in Okami? <laughs> Honestly. Kai, in general, is also a really cool character. I, I actually like the uh, Oina tribe quite a lot. But that shouldn't be surprising. On to the next part. Shouldn't be much more. I think this is the last one. It's either this one or another one after it. And then we're home free. Oh, that caught me off guard. You know, I, I kind of saw it coming too. Like, in my head, I was like, there's a snowball that falls here. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, no. All these snowballs, dude. There's Kai. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. Oh shoot! Oh, my goodness. There we go. Grab this. Here we go. Here we are. It's been a while since I last was last here, so I wondered if I'd make it. You know, after all this time, it hasn't changed one bit. Amaterasu, this place is Yoshpet's little secret. Welcome to Ponktan, home of the Ponkles. I'm sure Isun will tell you a lot more about it. <laughs> anyway, Camus sensed Lika's presence here, right? 
if we don't find her before the day of darkness begins and she doesn't perform the volcanic incantation, Kamui will freeze over for good. We're really counting on you, Amaturas. This place hasn't changed a bit. Ami, the Ponkel village, Pongtan, is in this tree stump. Too bad you're so big. I'm sure you'd like to go in there and chat with the locals. Hey, isn't that... Yeah, it's the lucky mallet. What's it doing here? Don't tell me it wants to repay you for your kindness. Who knew tools could be so loyal? I guess you could visit Pongtan if you were smaller. Well, Furball, you gonna go in or what? Really? Well, I suppose you could ask the villagers about Lika. But you'll have to go by yourself. I ain't going in there. This slick helmet of mine could get ruined in such a gloomy place. Save real quick. I love that this place's theme is just Isu's theme. <laughs> if I remember correctly, there is a shop in this area. What is this? Hold it right there! Are you some kind of wolf? You can't be an ordinary wolf if you got into Pong Tan like this. We demand that you introduce yourself. That's weird. We can usually understand animals. I have no idea what's going on inside this wolf's head. But this strange makeup and the divine instrument looks so... I have a feeling I've seen them somewhere before too. Oh, hold, hold it right there. I remember where I recognize you from. You look just like the wolf in the scroll at old Ishaku's house. Does that mean you're a friend of our chief Ishaku? I thought so. And I suppose we'd better let you in. This is the home of Ishaku, chief of the Punkles. He's resting inside at the moment. Please go on in. He's old has become quite weak. His eyes are particularly bad, so keep that in mind. Make sure you don't give him any trouble. Huh? Hmm? I recognize that smell. Who's there? No. It can't be. But I'd know that bark anywhere. You must be... Uh, Ami? Abby, it is you! When you departed this world after that brutal battle, I never thought I imagined I would see you again. My eyes have started to fail me in my old age, but... But I could sense it. I could sense the tears you're trying to hide, too. Yes, go ahead and ignore me. That's the army I know. I don't know how you managed to make yourself so small. But that rudeness of yours leaves me in no doubt of who you are. I'm no longer the young boy you remember me as, Ami. I've grown to become the leader of Punktan. Yes, I'm the legendary swordsman, Ishaku. I've gone up in the world since we last met, wouldn't you say? You can give me that look, but I know you're impressed. But really, I'm sensing something about you that worries me. Your divine powers have weakened considerably. 
I assume you haven't retrieved all of 13 of them yet, have you? Things have certainly changed since we last fought together. People no longer have faith in the gods like they used to. So I suppose it's only to be expected that you're weaker now. It's sad to see you without your own strength. But let me tell you straight, Ami, in your current state, you can't possibly fight off the powers of darkness. So tell me, don't you have a companion traveling with you this time? Is that a no? You mean you came all this way alone? I wasn't expecting to see you with anyone in particular, mind you. Oh well, never mind. It's no big deal. Ami, I'm sure you already know this, but... In your current state, you can't defeat the ruler of darkness. We Punkles always knew that darkness would come one day. That's why we've been training to be celestial envoys. You seem to have forgotten absolutely everything! Celestial envoys are the messengers of the gods. The gods cannot live on unless people believe in them. We Punkles are the only ones who can communicate with gods. And we train as artists to teach the world their divine power. The only, then only the very best of us are chosen to be given the honor. The honor of being named a Celestial Envoy. I was the sixth Celestial Envoy when I traveled with you. But I'm old now and I'm not as strong as I used to be. So I decided to take everything that I've learned and teach it to my people. I've been very strict, but it's paid off. Now almost all of them have what it takes to be a Celestial Envoy. So army, take a look around the village and talk to them. It's up to you to decide who will be the seventh Celestial Envoy. Whoever you choose will accompany you on your journey. Their amazing paintings will show you the world, show the world your divine power. If people believe in you, your powers are sure to return. Then and only then will you be able to defeat the darkness. How do we get out of here? Let me find that shop. Is that it? That's not the shop. I think the shop is up here, isn't it? We. <laughs> That's a strange looking doggy, doggy paddle with a upstream. This must be Easton's room. Ah, yes. I see. A connoisseur of the NSFW. I wonder if he has a Twitter account. I think this is where we want to go. Okay, no, it's not this place. Fall damage is truly what makes this game amazing. Ah, oh, hello there. Huh? You're a bit small for a wolf, aren't you? And it looks like you're wearing some kind of strange makeup. You're the first visitor in this village who is an uncle. My name's Mia. Pleased to meet you. You know, there was a lost child in the forest the other day. She wandered even deeper into the forest and disappeared through a spirit gate, looking almost possessed. The spirit gate is a relic that lies deeper inside the forest. It's a strange gate that takes you to another place and another time. But people say that the opening the gate invites misfortune. We Ponkles always make sure we steer well clear of it. But when I saw that girl wandering deeper into the forest, I decided to follow because I was worried about her. I saw the gate open the moment she stood before it. And then it was like she'd been swallowed up. Do you think I should tell the elder about this, Wolfie? Hmm. 
See if we can go speak to Ishaku again. See if he has anything to say. What is it? Hmm. Ignoring me again, are you? It doesn't matter. I can tell what you're thinking anyway. You're thinking about the spirit gate, aren't you? Only a fool would be interested in something like that. That loathsome gate invites misfortune, I tell you. If you open it, you'll be engulfed in a vile, sinister air. There's no reason in the world you'd ever need to open it. Anyway, it can't be opened without my trusty sword, Digimaru. Never mind that. How's your search for the Celestial Envoy going? It must be hard to choose with all the talent here. What? Is there something you want to tell me? Just for the record, I don't have a grandson anymore. That no-good rascal gave up on his training and ran away with one of my treasured paintings. He's no longer a grandson of mine. I've washed my hands of him. Well, I guess we're leaving. But we will be leaving next episode. That's right, everybody. We've reached the end of our episode. It's always a magical time when that happens, huh? Well, I just want to say thank you all so much for watching. Really appreciate having you here and having your company. It always means a lot. And uh, next time on Okami, we will be going back out to Isun and probably heading towards that spirit gate since that sounds like where, uh, where our little friend Lika is. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and please take care of yourselves. Peace, everybody.